Hi guys, it's Seneth here again. I'm the traveling mom boss. So you guys, I love to travel on a budget. So my kids and I, we traveled for three months throughout Europe. And guess what? We went to Paris, France, and we had to go visit Disney Paris. So today's video is all about, is it really worth it to visit Disney Paris? So this is my raw and honest opinion. But before I get into that, guys, I want to let you know that I do have a course that I created. It's all about how to travel on a budget with your kids. I've learned so much traveling throughout Europe for three months and also traveling for a year road tripping throughout the United States. So I have all of my tips and tricks on how to travel on a budget with your children. So make sure you click the link below in the description. My course will be available on October 1st. So if you're watching this before that, please make sure you come back to the video. If you're watching it after October 1st, guess what? You guys are in for a treat. It is available. So make sure you click the link in the description to get access to that right away. So as I was saying, guys, is it really worth it to visit Disney Paris? And guess what? It is. So guys, I visited Disney in Florida and also in Disney Paris. So this is to let you guys know I have experience in both areas. So Disney Paris is totally worth it. I'm going to let you guys know what you should prepare for when you get there. And I'm going to let you guys know why I think it's worth it. So the first reason why it's totally worth it is because my family and I paid only $53.10 per person. So we paid $212 for four of us. This includes myself, my two kids, and my sister. And a tip is if you're going to visit Disney Paris to go off season. So we were actually able to compare the different prices for different dates. And we were able to get our tickets for the cheapest rate, which was $53 per person. There's also a family deal. So that's why we were able to get it for that cheap. So make sure if you're going to be visiting with three or more people, or I believe four or more people, you get that family rate, but it's only available off season. So I think that's an amazing deal. Because when we were visiting Disney in Orlando, we paid over $100 per person. That's a lot of money. So, I mean, every kid wants to go to Disney. So if you want to spend that much in America, it's totally fine. We jumped on board when we knew that we were only going to be paying $53 per person for Disney Paris. So it's totally worth it to pay that amount as a budget traveler. Another reason why I felt like it was totally worth it because as a budget traveler, I had a $200 budget for the entire day for my family and I, and that's $200. As you know, Disney Paris is in Europe, so it's Euro. So I converted the amount of money that I wanted to spend in dollars, which was $200. And I was able to stay on budget. So we actually brought along with us um, water, which is something I recommend, and snacks. And we also bought food in there. You don't necessarily have to buy food. You can just bring along snacks, um, sandwiches, and bring your water or juices. They allow you to take those things in with you. So I recommend if you're on a budget, take those things with you. You can also buy food in there, which is what I did because my kids, you know, they, they think they're fabulous. So you went to a restaurant and we got hot dog, french fries and soda. The hot dog was really large. So, and it was tasty and we didn't spend a lot of money on that. I think we spent around 10 to $15 per person to get that. And then I also got my kids like the little Mickey Mouse hats. One of them cost $16.99 you're in euros the other one was 26.99 in euros so i would say that those were the most expensive things we paid for so the food and the hats and then we also got ice cream so all of that combined was under 200 dollars. so in order to stick to that budget you have to bring along extra water with you because you are going to be walking around and it's hot so you want to make sure you have liquids because if you don't, you'll have to pay for it in there and it's pretty expensive. I do want to let you guys know that Disney Paris is outside of the city center. So you do either have to take public transportation or you have to drive. If you're coming from in the city center, it's going to take about one hour on public transportation. If you're driving, it's about a 30 minute drive. Also, if you're going to be taking public transportation, the normal cost or the regular cost to travel within Paris is 190 euro. 
But to get to Disney Paris, it's a totally different cost. So please keep that in mind because we had that issue when we got there. We did not realize we had to buy a specific ticket to go to Disney Paris. And that ticket costs 7.7 um, 7 euro 60. Okay, so make sure you get the ticket that goes to Disney Paris. If you get the regular ticket, you're going to have to go pay again once you get to the location um, to enter into Disney Paris. So you're once you get there, you're going to see that you're at a train station and you have to pay to enter that um, train station just to walk to the entrance of Disney Paris. We didn't know that, so we ended up paying a little bit more. So to save you guys extra money, Make sure you get the ticket that takes you to Disney Paris, which costs seven euro sixty. Another thing that I want to let you guys know um, about Disney Paris is that you do need to have a negative COVID test or a proof of vaccination to enter. We are in a pandemic and I don't know how long this is going to last, but if you go there, you do need to provide those things. You cannot enter unless you have proof of a negative COVID, uh, a no, negative COVID test or a proof that you were vaccinated with a COVID vaccine. Also, a mask is required. So you definitely want to make sure you have one or two pieces, one or two masks, because if you're traveling with kids, you know, they lose it. They want to take it off. So make sure you have more than one mask when you enter and make sure you keep it on. You can, of course, take it off if you're eating, but it is required to have a mask on. So to avoid being kicked out or being embarrassed, make sure you have your mask when you go to Disney Paris. So yes, it's definitely worth it to have that mask on if you're going to be having fun with your kids. I recommend if you're going to Disney Paris to go there early. We actually arrived 10 a.m. in the morning, so we were able to see a lot and do a lot, go on different rides, and only take a, a between 15 minutes to the max was 45 minutes of wait time. The 45 minute wait time was only around the time when we were leaving, which was closer to about two in the afternoon or three. So if you go earlier in the day, you have a better chance of doing more and getting on rides faster. If you're traveling with kids, you know that they don't really have that much patience. So you do wanna get there early so that the kids won't have to be on the long lines. I had that issue with my youngest one who was ready to get off a line because she didn't want to wait for 45 minutes and we were like close to the front and I'm like, girl, we're almost there. Just two more minutes. So make sure you get there early so you can avoid having issues with your kids waiting too long on a line because it's all about the kids. So you want to make sure they enjoy themselves. So guys, be prepared to walk because it is a large facility or location. So be prepared to walk. We walk so much that when I checked my phone, it said that I walked 16,000 steps for that entire day. And we actually didn't even get to see everything. So I do recommend if you're gonna go to Disney Paris, make sure you separate it into two days because you're just not gonna be able to do everything in one day, especially if you're traveling with kids. I also recommend make sure you have a map. They do provide that when you're entering the um, Disney Paris. Make sure you have a map. Also make sure the GPS on your phone works or if you're using some other device, make sure you have a GPS so you can be able to navigate the area. If you're having a lot of trouble, you can easily ask one of the staff. I never recommend asking someone else that's there just like you are because they might give you the wrong direction. One other thing I want to let you guys know is that certain parts of Disney Paris is under construction. The castle was under construction. So when we took our pictures, we took it in front of something that kind of looked like a cardboard bo cardboard box i'm not sure what it's made out of but it was not the real castle my kids still loved it i still loved it and we took lots of pictures but do keep in mind that when you get there certain things are under construction but long story short it is totally worth it it's everything you would expect from Disney and more. Because of the pandemic, you cannot go directly next to the um, characters like Mickey Mouse, etc., to give them hugs, but you can um, take pictures 
about six feet away from them so you can do the things you would normally do it's just that you have to keep your distance but it's totally worth it your kids are gonna love it and you can be on a budget when traveling to disney paris so you guys thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you like subscribe and share and please also make sure you check out my course that's in the description i will see you on my next video